Hello and welcome to Magsy's Fun Time. This is Magsy and today we are playing World of Warcraft. This is going to be our first episode in a series where I, it's basically a gaming guide for a while. I'm going to go through the starting areas, classes, all that kind of stuff. Try to show you how to, uh, little tricks on leveling and uh, some of the areas, little secret spots and uh, good spots to grind levels out without actually having to quest and all that good stuff. Um, first of all, this is the starter edition. I wanted to start out with the starter edition because that's where most people start out and try the game out. And it kind of lets you start start the game and, and try things out before you move on to the next level. <coughs> now I want to go through a couple things on here and then we're going to cut this episode out and then we're going to start with our first character. Um, how you do the starter edition is you go and start you a email account. Now you want a separate email account for your regular uh, MMOs. You want that separate from your everyday business account or or social account because you because you're going to have to uh, switch your emails and your email can be hacked and there's a whole bunch of other reasons why you don't want the same email for your MMO as for your um, other social and business aspects of your life so make sure you start you a brand new email account for this or if you have an MMO email account already use that one okay the next thing you need to do is go on to WoW's website which is www.battlenet.com slash WoW and they will have a free trial there for for thing and you, you just click on the free trial and uh, uh, fill out the information to start you an account a Battle.net account and it'll after you enter all the information and, and submit it it'll send you an email and you sign into your email that you just made and uh, confirm your email through the link and, and then your start edition is good after that, you you log back in onto Battle.net.com and download the launcher. The launcher will download the game for you, and that'll take a while. Um, some people just like to uh, do it do it the night before and just let it download, and then it'll be ready for you the next day. You can sign in straight that morning and go ahead and play. But you kind of want to do that ahead of time so you can just start and play. After that, you log in and you come to this screen right. here here. Now sometimes it will start you in a random uh, server, but you want to just click the uh, change server and come out to this screen right here. And this line of things right here, there's a whole lot of servers, tons of them. This side here is your realm name. This right here is the type. Now normal We'll look at normal means there's no special rules for this realm. It's it's PVE content, which means it's player versus the uh, environment. Which is you solo or you with the group of friends or you uh, queuing up for random dungeons and stuff with other people that's on the server that you haven't met yet, and and you just go around and play versus the actual game itself. Uh, PVP is a special PvP realm. There are there's certain safe zones in the game and then once you leave those safe zones you'll in, you'll be in what's called contested areas and in contested areas you will be flagged for PvP and then there are sp specific zones that are horde or ally zones. Now horde and ally are the two uh, Um, governments will say and the, the ally consists of uh, humans, dwarfs, gnomes uh, wargans drenai and the horde consists of orcs kobold not, not kobolds thinking of dungeons and dragons <laughs> um, orcs Trolls, undead, goblins, torrens, and I 
think that's it. And then the pandas can be either or. And each one of those races has their own faction too. And uh, every time you enter a city, no matter which server type you play on, you will get flagged for PvP. Or if a guard from a specific faction, from uh, like if you're Horde and you go into an ally area, the guard hits you, it'll sometimes flag you for PvP. And when you get flagged for PvP, it'll last for five minutes and you will also get attacked by an enemy. We'll get into more of that later. So that's what player versus player is. It, it's a special server that is in more in tune to player versus player combat. RP is not the same as RPG. RP is more like acting. You um, go onto their that server and you you basically act out your character on the server. So you you there's special rules for the RP servers, and you just want to. You go on there and uh, you, you talk as if you were a character and the stuff you do, you do in character guilds, friendships, all that stuff. E even to the extent of uh, raiding. Even when you're raiding, if you're talking to your guild in raid, you want to do it in character. You don't want to do it out of character. Like, in character would be your tune and out of character would be you, you were actually player talking. And there are a few exceptions in the in the RP realms for where you can talk to um, people, but they're very very few. And 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 all just about all the chats you have to talk in character in the chats, or you'll be banned. And they're very strict on those realms about those rules. <coughs> okay. Now RP PVP is the same as a PVP realm, only they are. They, they role play the encounters the same way they would do on the RP realm. So, it, it can be a little more douchey than, than the regular player versus player. So, you want to be careful with those. Um, to start out with, you want to start out with normal. You, you, you want to, you're, you're just starting and you're just got getting used to the game. So, you want to start out on the normal and get used to that. And then you can go to these other realms and, and, and play around on them. And and it's a good way, the the um, trial version is a good way to do that. You can go to these other realms and see see what it's about. So so do two or three tunes on on normal, and then go to a PvP realm and play around on the end, and see what it's about, and then so on and so forth. Now, trial accounts have special um, limitations on them. You can't get your professions up above 120 or so, somewhere around there. You can't use the mail. You can't use the auction house. You can't join guilds. You can't whisper other players unless they're on your friends list and you're on their friends list. Um, and there's a few other limitations. The actual list is on the battle not, battle battle.net slash wow. They have a little fact for it. You can read on all the limitations and stuff. It might be a good idea to hang to check that out. Um, I know one of the big things is you can't get over, you can't accumulate over ten gold. So you want to make sure you're always spending your gold on bags or something, upgrading your bank, stuff like that. But uh, that's what that's what the the trial version is for to try out the different classes and races and stuff and different server types and. PvP and other content, and just get a feel for what kind of character you want to make. So, so we've already made a character up, and uh, I'm going into here, this server. Now I'm going to go into new character, just because I want to show you the character stuff. You can choose to be male or female of any race or gender, and each race has specific classes that they cannot be. So you want to, if you're wanting to try a specific class you you might have to change different uh, races for that um, you can click on this button for more information and it brings you up little stat things and it'll show you the information on what what benefits you gain from each different race and um, there's two of the ally races you want to particularly take a look at um, Drenai have an uh, increased chance to hit 
and wargens have increased critical strike so if you're going to use if your main character is going to be a class that needs critical strike you might want to th think about starting a wargen on the ally side now the horde side has special ones too I think the orc has a increased damage when they're enraged and the trolls can berserk increasing their attack and cast speed they also have increased regeneration those are two good ones to just just to point out there uh, blood elves also have a good one uh, it's a silenced move but it also increases your mana regeneration or energy regeneration or any other resource you have so you want to read each one of these and pick the one you want and they have little flavor text down here where you can see what you want um, the classes are split up into different types right here where it shows roll you have tank damage which most people refer to as DPS and we'll click this one because they don't have priest and healer here now your tanks are your warrior let me switch back to humans pallies uh, druids monks and DKs can all be tanks now you DK you won't be able to play until you level to 55 and your max level in the trial I think is level 20 so you won't be able to try DK I don't believe um, your healers will be priest chamois pallies monks and druids all the rest of these will be DPS and there are melee DPS which is warriors and rogues and druids and there's also range DPS like hunters and mages and locks and then some of these can be either or like uh, priest you can you can heal in one spec and or you can have a second spec where you do shadow damage or whatever so that's what that's about I'm going to click off this info because I already know most of the stuff here. And when, once you get this done, you just click customize and you can pick a name. You can hit randomize and it'll randomly start a name. You want to hit this two or three times because sometimes people have already used these names up on the server. So you, you might want to find one you like or you can enter your own name. Either or. Now, this screen is the most important screen. There are two aspects of this you cannot change in game okay your skin color you cannot change in game and you can go up and down or you can scroll your mouse wheel whichever one you like better and your face your face you cannot change in game so whatever face you make here you're stuck with unless you do a paid change and since you're doing a trial you don't want to do a paid change or anything like that the rest of these the hairstyle, hair color, piercings, you can change these in the barbershop, so it's not too bad. Just pick one of, pick one you, you like and then you want to go ahead and change it when you get in when you get to a barbershop, go ahead and get it, get some money up, go ahead and change it, and you'll get an achievement for it. But once you get all this you hit finish and then it'll come you it'll bring you back to this screen right here. And you just click enter world now I'm gonna go ahead and load this up and then I'm gonna cut the recording off here so if you um, if you liked this video and you want to know when more of these guides are gonna come out make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll send you a little notification on your channel or in your uh, gmail account and hit the like button if you like the guide and want to see more and I will see you on the next episode.